Welcome back to the Radical Rundown. My name is Brian Bukosh, core design engineer for Brunswick Bowling. Phil was kind enough to ask me to talk about this new core design for the Payback. The Payback is a symmetrical core that is designed with an 041 total differential. The RG on this ball is 2.528. This is a symmetrical core that looks a lot like the bonus core, but you'll notice proportionally they're very different. So let me run you through some of the features of this core design so you understand what they do for you. Both of these cores are designed with cap and band technology in mind. This is something, of course, that Mo and his CAD team developed. Cap and band technology means what it sounds like. So you have this band in the middle here. That's typically on a pinup layout where you're going to see most of the mass be removed by the thumb hole when you drill it. And you have an upper and a lower cap that complete these core designs. What these upper caps do is they end up increasing the total differential of the ball because even when you drill into them, you typically on a pinup or pin down layout are able to miss the knob, meaning that the differential of the core is left intact. And this lower cap, of course, is what gives you the ratio of the length to the width or the height to the width of this core. So you'll notice that even though these two cores are designed relatively similarly, they're scaled differently to give you different total differentials. With a zero intermediate differential, it's the height and the width ratio of the two cores that make the, all the difference. So the bonus core has a 30 total differential because it has a little less total height and a lot more width overall. So the ratio of the height to width is less, and thus it's harder to spin on the pin axis. It's easier to spin on the mass bias axis or the XZ axis. However, with the different scaling of this new payback, it's easier to spin on this low RG axis, that's the pin axis, but more difficult to spin about this X axis or the XZ plane, which is the high RG axis. So the difference in the ratios of the height and width of these cores result in an 041 total differential in the payback and an 030 total differential in the bonus. Both of these cores are symmetrical, which means that before drilling, they have a zero intermediate differential. Now, when you drill into this band in a pinup layout, the thumb is going to take mass out of the central band and typically miss the cap, which means that you're going to make this core narrower and taller, which is going to blow up the total differential. On a pinup layout, such as a max flip layout, the differential will go up from 041 to about 048. That's going to give you more total flare and more hook at the back of the lane. If you do something like a low flare layout, which is also known as the smaller hook layout on the sheet that's in the box, then what you'll end up doing is you will still hit the band with the thumb, because the core is oriented in this direction, but you're going to have the core laying more on its side, which means that it's closer to the min RG axis, which means that it's not going to rotate or flare as much as it goes down the lane. When you put a layout like a low flare layout on this ball, what you're going to do to the core is kind of tip it down so that the pin is much closer to your PAP. This puts the fingers in an upright orientation relative to the core that's laying down. This means that the pin is close to your PAP and it's not going to flare or tumble as much. It's going to be rolling a little more end over end in this direction as opposed to tumbling like it would in a high flare layout position. What this does is it reduces the total differential and thus the total flare from about 041 undrilled to about 036 in a low flare layout. Remember that symmetrical balls are only symmetrical when they're undrilled. Once you drill into them, you're going to make them asymmetrical because you're removing mass from one side. In the case of a pinup layout, you're going to take mass out of the side of the core with the fingers and the thumb. You're going to get an intermediate diff of about 013 with a typical pinup layout, and that's going to give you a little more shape at the back of the lane. If you do something like a short pin layout where you've laid the core down a little more, you're going to take out a different amount of mass, and you are going to increase the intermediate diff away from zero up to only about 0 .008, because you're not taking as much mass out of the central core body. That's all the information I have on the new payback. It's going to make a great compliment to the rest of the balls in the radical symmetrical arsenal. Make sure you give us a like on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever you get your social media. And thanks for watching. I'm Brian Buckosh, core design engineer for Brunswick Bowling, and this has been the Radical Rundown.